Hey team, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up your Facebook pixel and conversion tracking inside ClickFunnels. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Facebook pixel and the conversion tracking inside of your funnel. Now I'm going to use ClickFunnels for this demonstration. However, what I'm going to teach you applies to all of the other landing page and funnel building softwares like lead pages, Unbounce, etc. It's all the same thing. So what we're going to do is jump into my screen. We're going to go, we're going to get the Facebook pixel. We're going to install that onto our funnel. Then we're going to set up the conversion tracking. And then I'm going to show you how you would use that conversion tracking when you come to build a Facebook ad campaign. So let's just dive straight in to my screen. And whilst I'm here, let's talk about why we want to do this and the importance of what we're going to do. And the, the reason that we want to get the Facebook pixel set up is because we want to be able to see where our advertising spend is going. What is our money being spent on? Are we seeing results from the money that we're actually spending? So first things first, you need to have your funnel built. I've got a funnel here built inside of ClickFunnels. You can see here it's for my free guide. Now this is an old funnel that I'm using just for the example of this video. So we have that. So you need to have your funnel set up in place already. Second of all, we need to head over to Facebook and we need to get our Facebook pixel. This is a piece of code that goes onto our website that allows us to do three things. It allows us to track what people are doing so we can see and track our results. It allows us to be able to retarget people. So maybe somebody comes to our funnel but doesn't take the action we want them to take. We can retarget them. And finally, it allows Facebook to get smarter and to optimize. So what we want to do is we want to head up to set up here. In fact, first of all, the way that we get here is you click on the hamburger menu inside the business manager, ads manager, go to all tools, and then we want to go to pixels. And when you come to pixels, it's going to take you to a page like this. Now, if you haven't got your pixel set up already, it's going to ask you to set up the pixel. Just go through that steps and then it will come up with a page like this. Obviously, you won't have a graph here because this graph shows the data that the pixel is uh, acquiring. What we want to do, though, is head up to set up here and click on install pixel. Now you've got different options on how you can do this. You can, if you're using a website, you can do it through a partner integration such as Google Tag Manager. However, because this is just a funnel that we're building, uh, in this case, what we want to do is click on manually install the pixel code to the website. Now, if you have somebody that does your funnel for you or has your website for you, you can actually click this button and then put in the email address of that developer and it'll send all the information out to that developer. So I'm gonna click back here, click on manually uh, add the pixel to website and we want to take this pixel code here simply click on copy one thing that you want to do is always have automatic advanced matching switched on and what this essentially does is it allows the pixel to gather just a little bit more information from the people that are filling in or taking the action that you want to take so always make sure you've got advanced matching turned on now click here copy your pixel and we want to head over to click funnels or lead pages unbounce whatever it is that you're building your funnel on. Now, when it comes to creating your funnel, one thing that you need to ensure that you have is at least two stages. So in this case, I'm sharing the, the funnel here of my blueprint. So somebody comes to a landing page and it says, download the blueprint. They then have to enter their name, their email address to get access to the blueprint. Once they've done that, it takes them to a thank you page. And we need to have this thank you page in place because we need to be able to, t when somebody lands on that page, that's what equals a conversion. We need to be able to have that page so Facebook can know that someone has converted and taken the action that we wanted them to take. So what we want to do is head over to our thank you page. First of all, and in fact I should say, is we want to ensure that the pixel is installed across every single page in our funnel so that we're tracking people on every single stage of the funnel. But what we're going to do is we're going to then add the conversion tracking, which allows us to tell Facebook that when somebody visits a specific page, such as the thank you page, they've actually taken the action that we want them to take. So we've got our pixel. So what we want to do is head over into ClickFunnels, go to the thank you page and click on edit page here. And once that page has loaded up, what we want to do is we want to head over to settings here, click on tracking code. This is what yours will look like. It'll, it'll, there'll be nothing there. And we simply want to command V and paste that in there. So that is the Facebook pixel code now on the thank you page. Now there's a little bit more work that we have to do here 
to show Facebook that we've set up the conversion tracking. So the easiest way to do it, you've, you've got two options when it comes to conversion tracking. You can either do it through what's called custom conversions, or you can do it through what's called standard events. Now, a custom conversion is when we tell Facebook that when somebody visits a specific URL, they have converted, such as they visit the website mrgavinbell.com forward slash blueprint thank you. Facebook, when somebody goes on that URL, will track it. Or we can use standard events, which is where we edit this code that you can see to tell Facebook when that code is triggered that that has been a conversion. Now, when it comes to click funnels, we always want to use standard events tracking because custom conversion tracking doesn't work very well within click funnels. I don't know why. I think it's because of the URLs and how the URLs seem to change all the time. So we always, always, always want to use standard event tracking where possible. So the easiest way for us to do this is simply take this line here where we've got FBQ track page view. We want to copy that, enter, paste. Now, if you're not a very techy person, don't worry. What we're going to do is just make it look nice and neat like that. And then where it says page view on the second line, we want to change this and we can change this to whatever we want. It doesn't matter what we what it's going to be. All we need to do is change it to something that we will recognize as, you know, the conversion that's just happened. So in this case, someone has downloaded my blueprint. So I might call it blueprint. Thank you. Blueprint TY like that. So when I see that the, the event blueprint TY has fired, someone has been on it, I know that that is a conversion from the blueprint. So I can hit the cross here and click on save. Now that has installed the pixel onto that thank you page and we've also got the standard event tracking set up as well. To make sure that we've set this up properly, what we can do is we can hit preview or come to the actual URL of the page. And like I say, this is gonna be the exact same when it comes to lead pages, unbounce, all your other different uh, landing page and funnel building softwares and what we want what we can do is we can install this Chrome extension called the Facebook pixel helper and this allows us to see whether the Facebook pixel is installed on a website or not and if I click on it we can see that the pixel is installed we can double check that that ID is the same ID as the ID in my business manager we can see that page view has loaded because we've got the green tick and we can also see there that blueprint ty has also loaded so that means that i have set that up properly now we need what we need to now do is when we build the campaign in facebook we need to link it to that blueprint ty so that when we're running a campaign trying to get people to download the blueprint we're telling facebook that we are trying to optimize for this standard event we're telling facebook that we want to see people fire that event so people landing on this page because that means they then downloaded the blueprint and what that means we can do is we can start tracking the numbers we can see how much is it costing us to get somebody to take that action how much is it costing us to get somebody to download that blueprint first and foremost what we're actually going to want to do here is we want this may be a little bit confusing but what we want to do is we want to create a custom conversion now based on that event Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back into the pixels section. We can also come down to here, all tools and click on custom conversions. What we want to do is click on create custom conversion. Now this is where we would create the conversion tracking if we were doing it based on URL. What we do is we'd paste in the URL there. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna click on this drop down and we're gonna see some of the standard events that we have set up already. And we're gonna try and find the one that we've just created, Blueprint TY, that's the one I just created. What this is gonna allow us to do is it's going to allow us to use this standard event in our Facebook campaigns when we create them. So once we've got it there, Blueprint TY, we can just name it again. I would always just name it the same as the standard event that you've got. Select a category, so we can call this uh, a lead or whatever it is relevant to you, it doesn't really matter. And then we can click on create. Now, I've actually already created this one, so I don't need to create it again, but we'd click on create. Then what we want to do is we want to include this into the Facebook campaign when we're actually creating the campaign. So we want to come over to the campaign section and click on create campaign. Now, if we are using conversion tracking, then it means that we want to use the conversions objective when we're creating a Facebook campaign. What that essentially means is we're telling Facebook that we are creating a campaign trying to get a specific result, whether that's to get someone to download a guide, purchase a product, whatever it may be. If we are using conversions at all, 
we need to be using the convergence objective for that to actually work and for uh, Facebook to be able to track what's going on. So in this case, we're building a campaign for my blueprint. So I can just call it that, whatever I, what I want. Hit on, click on continue. And it's gonna take us to the ad set level. Now the ad set is where we choose the conversion event that we've just created. One thing I want to mention here actually, on this point back when we were creating this custom conversion based on the event. So when I clicked on here, create custom conversion, uh, and then I chose the event here. What you're gonna find is it's gonna take a little bit of time for that event to show in this list. So it's showing straight away for me because I've already created this. I've already got that active on other funnels. But what you want to do to, to kind of speed it up is once you've added it to your thank you page, is just refresh the page a couple of times, go on the URL a couple of times so that you trigger that event. So this happens a couple of times. And then normally within 10, 15 minutes, you can come here, click on create custom conversion and it'll be in that drop down. If it doesn't, just give it a little bit of time. But that's one thing that's uh, important here is it does take time for that to then show within Facebook for you to be able to create that. So then we are here at the conversions part. This is the first, when we're creating a conversions campaign, this is the first part of the ad set. And what we want to do is come to conversion event, untick what is ever, whatever is there. And we want to find the one that we just created. So in this case, it is blueprint ty. So if I type that in, it should just pop up. And we can see it there on the list, blueprint ty. So we want to select that and we'll see this here. Now, you'll probably find that this is maybe red or even gray, depending on how you set it up. And it might say that you've not had any conversions yet. That is totally fine. You've not had any proper conversions yet. So what to do is just leave it. It'll still allow you to create the campaign. Scroll down, choose your targeting, choose your placements, all that fun stuff. Hit continue, create your ads and hit publish. And that is going to allow you to then start tracking your conversions when it comes to Facebook. So let's get my big smug face up here. So that is how we set up the Facebook pixel and the conversion tracking within ClickFunnels. And it means you can then start driving people to that funnel and start tracking how well it's performing, how well your ads are performing. Because we can start seeing, right, it's costing us two pound to get uh, somebody to download the blueprint or it's costing 10 pound to get someone to book in a phone call with me. Conversion tracking and the Facebook pixel is something that you need to have in place before you spend any money on Facebook because without it, you're unable to see the performance. You're unable to see what works and what doesn't work. So please use this video, get it all installed. Like I say, I've used ClickFunnels here as an example, but it's gonna be the exact same process, whichever funnel and landing page software that you use. Now, if you'd like more advice like this and you'd like support, and one of the things that a lot of the members ask for is for me to check over their work, then please be sure to check out myfunnelacademy.com. It's my online membership program where you I walk you through how to set up your conversion tracking, get your pixel installed, get all your analytics installed, how to build your funnels, how to run ads, how to write the copy, how to create compelling imagery and videos. Everything you need to set up a profitable marketing funnel is inside the membership program. So I'd love to have you in there. I'd love for you to watch this video, join the academy. I can check the work for you on one of our weekly coaching calls. And uh, I think you'll find it super, super valuable. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, thumbs up, drop a comment, share this with someone that needs to see it, all those fun things. I enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I will see you in the next one.